recently Abdalo has announced an important changes to the collections API. Uh, in particular, the first change is the introduction of basic filtering capability using filter key and filter value parameters to the API call. So what I would like to do is to show how it works um, in Make and uh, what modifications do we need to uh, make to the scenarios in Make. So I'm using this sample application. This is an uh, application, very simple one. I'm using this uh, collection called Data. I have almost 10,000 records here. So uh, the records look like it's sequence ID, first and last names, city and phones. They are all fake. So uh, usually how it worked before for the uh, scenarios in Make, for example, you needed to filter the record in the scenario based on phone. So here is the uh, Make scenario for that. Uh, we have the connection to this uh, database with a limit of 10,000, which is the maximum at the moment and will be reduced, but this is another story. And then uh, you have a filter uh, that the phone uh, equals to uh, the parameter you would like to filter. At, at the end, uh, you have the uh, resulting uh, record, which can be updated. Then here, as an, exa as an example, I update the record, uh, include this um, property, uh, increase this property or auxiliary result by one. So uh, let me uh, run this scenario. So, okay, we have a get all uh, query uh, running. And uh, as you all know, uh, it takes some time, uh, especially this collection is not that big, but for bigger collections, for bigger in size, it could take even more time. And you see, uh, okay, this is the, uh, the uh, output of the, of the get all um, query. Uh, well, it's almost 800 kilobytes. And then uh, you have a filter which uh, worked for this, this bundle, and then I update a record, um, this one record, taking record ID from this uh, list records, and uh, I'm including, increasing uh, the um, number, and as a result, yes, this record ID uh, has been updated, so result is two now too. So what has changed? Now, if you open uh, uh, the um, API documentation, just as a reminder to open API documentation, you press this link, uh, you see that there are two additional parameters here, filter key and filter value. So uh, you can add filter key uh, equals, uh, for example, email uh, or phone in our case. And then you can add filter value uh, to have this um, value, phone value uh, included into the uh, filter value. So uh, the issue with make modules uh, in uh, Adalo's make uh, modules is that you have only one parameter limit. You don't have this filter key filter value parameters yet. Hopefully they will appear in soon, but uh, what can we do now? So the workaround here is to use standard HTTP module. So what you do, how does it work? Uh, you add the HTTP module. Uh, you need to select uh, the first one, make a request. So uh, let me uh, just connect it uh, here. So um, let's set it up. Uh, again, this is old style setup before Adalo modules appear in, appeared in Integromat. Uh, you could use only HTTP modules. So so how we do set it, set it up? So we into the uh, uh, URL field, we add this method will be get. So in the header, we need to add the authorization. So in the, this is authorization, this is the uh, name and the value will be uh, bearer uh, and uh, the key, okay? Uh, also, uh, let's set body type, uh, raw and content type uh, application JSON. Uh, also set parse response to yes. Uh, and uh, again, let's add a, uh, another, uh, the, uh, the query parameter to return the maximum number of records. So we have a limit and the value will be 10,000. So now uh, if I run a scenario, uh, you will see in a moment, 
that this is HTTP module and in the data it returns records, an array of records, and then uh, well, it tries to open them. Uh, which is difficult for, yeah, uh, it's difficult for uh, me because the, uh, you see that there are lots of records here. So, uh, but of course we don't want to use list records, we want to use filters. So uh, the, it's very simple. What we need to add is to add another query parameters. Uh, by the way, we don't really need, uh, if we uh, anticipate returning like several elements, we don't need this one uh, limit, but we can keep it. Uh, so uh, here, what we need to add is filter key. Uh, so filter key uh, will be, so which is, it will be phone. And another uh, parameter will be filter value. And the value will be, uh, okay, let me take some phone from here. Okay, maybe this one, so, okay. And this will be the value. Of course, in your scenario, it will be different. Uh, so both keys and values. So uh, that's it. This is how we set up uh, HTTP module uh, instead of a value module to work with uh, uh, work with the uh, filter. And then let's uh, clone the existing update record and do pretty much the same. So uh, again, the connection is uh, the same. We are working with the same collection and the record ID, I will take data records. This is, this will be ID. This is why, by the way, you need to uh, use parse, um, parse uh, reply uh, option uh, because when you first run this module, uh, it will make will understand the structure uh, which is being returned by this uh, HTTP request and it will automatically create all this uh, these properties. So, okay, we uh, add a record ID and then uh, add the result. So, okay, uh, let's save and test. Uh, you can see the speed of the execution. So let's see what it returned here. So in the data we have records one and okay this this is the number the record with this phone number uh, and uh, let's see if it has increased uh, well maybe it, we need to re reload the uh, what's the name of this it's nine five four eight okay nine five four eight yeah okay you see uh, result is one now and uh, it successfully found the uh, the record which is needed so pretty simple but very efficient uh, another important note uh, is that this uh, filter query uh, works only on the exact match at the moment so if I for example uh, remove a number five from here uh, and I will run it once uh, You see, the array is empty. So you need to account for that and stop, uh, set up a filter that uh, uh, something like result exists. Uh, and you said here you go to array, uh, usually, uh, where do we have? Yes, we have records. And then we have uh, array length is greater than zero. So with this, we don't get this uh, error. Let's run it once again. Okay, good. Uh, but uh, the important part which I wanted to tell you is that the um, it's not just one record. It could be several records. For example, uh, let's see, uh, we have a first and last name and let's see uh, everyone uh, with the name, first name, Emily. Uh, and I believe there are some records, <laughs> should be at least, first uh, equal to Emily. So again, filter key, 
uh, filter value. So let's save and run. Mm. Uh, okay, result exists. Uh, interesting. Uh, so you see it returned uh, 22 records, but but uh, Dalo updated only one record. So, uh, and this is another, uh, well, it's not an issue, it's just the thing how it works. Uh, here, the uh, list records module, it's, it, com it combines two uh, functionalities. It's a query, a HTTP query uh, request, so which gets the result as a HTTP reply. And it's also an iterator. So here, when you have a big uh, collection, uh, the next one, uh, the next uh, module will, will update only the first uh, record which has been found. So you see, this is uh, the uh, the this one, but not uh, not the, all the others. So how uh, can you update all the records? Uh, instead, so um, instead of having a direct connection, you need to add the iterator. And uh, so uh, I'm going to. Uh, clone this one, then remove this one. So uh, the way it's gonna work. Uh, so first we have the HTTP request. Then we have we are we are checking that result exists. Then we have iterator, and we are iterating records array. And after that, I'm going to update the record. Uh, so it's a Dalo. Uh, post request, so it's not going to be this record ID, it will be the record ID from the iterator. And uh, I am going to add the result again uh, from the iterator, uh, taken from the iterator, so uh, not from the original module. Again, this one is not an uh, iterator, so you need to add iterator for uh, this case. Uh, so uh, let's run there. I expect 22 updates. Okay, well, you see that uh, records with different IDs, but if all of them are have first name Emily, uh, they have been updated. Uh, so, uh, I mean, this is the brief uh, update and uh, advice on what you can do with the new filtering functionality and how you can modify your scenarios and make. Uh, in regards to the uh, limit uh, to reduce to 1000, uh, you will need to implement pagination, but this is a different story and uh, hopefully I have time to uh, make another video on that. Uh, thank you. I hope this was useful and uh, see you soon.